Hi, my name is Savannah Burnett. I am in Art Appreciation on Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 4.20, and this is assignment number three. On my recent visit to the El Paso Art Museum downtown, a painting really caught my eye, and it's by John Edward Costigan. It's called The Central Park East. And so, so it's a, it has a frame, and it's oil on a canvas. It's not actually not a painting. And in the center of the painting is a tree, a really skinny tree. And the background of the painting is like, it's, you can tell that it's a forest, but it's very messy and the texture is just all over the place. And, but it caught, it, the, thing, the main thing that really caught my eye was the fact that the texture was, the texture was just really crazy because imagine mountains, just mountains, 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 and then little crevices in between the mountains. Just, ma just imagine it all together, and that's the texture of the painting. It has the little crevices, like in between mountains. And the painting is obviously naturalistic because it has, the, it has scale and proportion, it has texture, it has space, Although it is strange, it's not abstract because of the texture and the, and the space and the scale and proportion. The color scheme of the, the color scheme of the painting is very cool toned. There's a lot of blues, there's a lot of purples, there's a lot of darker colors. There's not really any cool, or there's not really any warm colors like oranges, yellows, and stuff like that. Okay. Since the, since the work of art is on a canvas and it has a frame, the mass is closed form because it's solid. There's no open spaces or distractions. It's not see-through or anything. So obviously it has to be closed form. 